Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to another spoiler video uh, with one less Joey because I don't know why, but comment below and be like, what the heck, Joey? Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we have a new set of spoilers. So tonight we have Blue, so this will be pretty interesting. Looks like we did not get Shayla unsealed, so... I was hoping we would. I was actually hyping it. That was my assumption. Yeah, so hopefully, hopefully something happens with her being unsealed. Because if we got another version of her that's not unsealed, or half unsealed, like with uh, Rhea, uh, that would suck a lot. Or, or like I saw in Colin, it would really suck if they, they're like, oh no, ne next set. Um, R four, you'll get Shayla and Carrick. But I'm actually gonna just cross my fingers and hope that they would make us wait to the last week or something weird. Yeah. So Oscar is gonna like these spoilers. Because I, I kind of saw something kinda, in the corner of I, my eye. I did. I did too. Um, I have it pulled up now. All right, you got to read this first one. All right, first one: Rebellious Soul Ayu. It's a two cost, one blue, one void, six six. Resonator, Were Rabbit, and Soul. We got our oh, Soul right. boys. <clears throat> she has flying. It says when this card enters the field, gain control of target Resonator with total cost one, as long as this card <clears throat> is in the field. Oh wow! Uh, this card gains. Tap this card becomes a copy of Target J Ruler your opponent controls, except it doesn't become a J Ruler and it's still a resonator. That's so that weird. That wording is so weird. <laughs> yeah, as long as your J Ruler is IU Lunar Swordsman or IU uh, Swordsman. Sorry, I set up. But anyways, you know what I mean. This card is a resonator, not a J. Let's just re remind you, this card's not a J Ruler. Uh, what's the flavor text, real quick? Evil never prospers because winners aren't evil. Wrong, first off. Second off, what? all right, I, I want to preface, maybe this is the only one of the spoilers, like I said, we're reacting to this live, but it feels like like red and yellow and stuff are really getting the shaft and like green or blue, uh, green specifically obviously has been getting all the good stuff, but now it feels like they're overcorrecting all the way into blue, hardcore. Mm. I'm happy as an IU player. <laughs> yeah, but I was saying, like, um, compared to the like last week's red spoilers, yeah. God Pig is kind of cool. He's n nothing compared to this. The Seeker Rare is complete shit compared to this. Yeah, and last... this is actually a good SR. Yeah, you, you know what I, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not yeah. I'm not upset about this card specifically. I'm just saying, like, it feels yeah. like red is getting the shaft. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, this is so... definitely a one of in an IU deck. <laughs> <laughs> Man. Are you joke? You might not get it. <laughs> Only are you players. Anyways, <laughs> it's a really cool looking card. Um, it's so we got another soul, so that's cool. I gets another soul, which she desperately needs because she's sort of bouncing back and forth in between viable yeah. and not viable as far as competitive level. Uh, so this definitely could help. It also helps in the sense that it's not um, it has other uses besides just being uh, food for Ayu. It's actually a decently strong card. It has oh, it's yeah. a two cost six six with flying, on its own. Pretty good vanilla. Uh, gaining control of a one cost as long as this card is in the field for a two cost six six with flying. That's crazy good without the second effect. The second effect is weird. It doesn't say till end of turn. Yeah, well, I mean, it would make sense. It doesn't say till end of turn because if I copy your J Wheeler. And let's say I'm really just copying for swiftness and attack. I'm already tapped out. There's no benefit of that. No, no, I'm no, just no. copying abilities. So it's copying it. Yeah. I assume it's cop. Does it mean it's copying stats? Yeah, I'm assuming it's becoming the card, but just not J really. But does it doesn't say necessarily? Does this erase all of her abilities? Uh, I would assume so. So, for example, we, if see, she has controlling a one-cost resonator, does she lose control of it? Because technically that specific card is not in the field with that ability. It, I would say so, but we'll have to wait and see like the whole CR and update before official you know rules come out. Again, this is another benefit why I wish articles are still being written, because those usually clarified that. Yeah. But I'm going to go ahead and go on the assumption that, one, yes, if you took control of that resonator, it, it now reverses that. That one, it wipes. It does wipe her card as she does become that. So what I was trying to say is that I, yes, I think you, if you do duplicate the J ruler, that you are going to lose all your abilities. This is my assumptions, by the way, so nobody take it you know, serious. We'll wait till official rules come out. And the reason why I say that is because the fact that it doesn't stay to in a turn, 
I think you recover. Also, the way bear magic works, bear magic technically rewrites the card, but you keep like things like attribute and cost still. Yeah, but bear magic specifically says that it it loses everything and becomes a bear. This doesn't say uh, she loses everything and becomes that. It just says she becomes a copy of that. Uh, it's a weird thing. Like I assume it'll erase all her text, but I don't know. It's just something I like clarification on. That being said, super freaking strong ability in my opinion. So. Oh yeah, no, it really is. I mean, I mean to copy cost. even, like even if I just copy what's that new ruler the Nyar one, that'd be a great great card to copy. Uh, like yeah, or like uh, you could copy. Like here's another question: If you copy Kyrick with his ability, I assume you don't copy over his strength counters he has. Maybe. Um, it's such a weird situation. I'm trying to, but I'm trying to think of like other situations of stuff that would be kind of cool to copy. Now it's that you cool copy build. Kirik, because copy is when he comes into play. I mean, Kirik is when he comes into play, right? So it's technically not doing that. Yeah, well, when his uh, card enters your field, and it's already in the field. Well, I'm saying like if he has 15 counters on him, do you, oh. does, does he technically have those, and you're copying him with those counters? It might be a stupid question, but that's just the first thing that pops in my head. But yeah. Uh, yeah, stuff like that. Sh Shayla making it well, always rain. Maybe you could do something. Yeah. Like well, definitely um, revisit this, and when we get more, we're talking like, about. Like, we should rules. move on to the next card. I just yeah, think yeah. that's a really freaking great card. I'm, I really am digging it. Uh, seems like should have been a three cost, maybe, but maybe I'm just overthinking it. All right, next. I like we're getting were rabbits again, though. Were rabbits. Lunar Prophet, three cost seven seven wear rabbit. When this card enters this field, look at the top card of your deck. You may put it on the bottom of your deck. Uh, then you draw a card. So technically, you could look at that card, draw it, or put it at the bottom of your deck, draw a different card. I like that. I mean, for three, not as much, yeah. but that's a huge, it's cool. huge draw. I mean, I mean, pre definitely pre-release, you would run something like that if you're trying to draw. Yeah. But at least it's fixing. So if you don't want that next card sent to bottom, it's not going to yeah. help you. It's a great filter because it doesn't put it into the discard. So yeah, um, yeah, it's pretty decent. Uh, it'll combo well with rare rabbit related things, I assume, especially mm -hmm. in wander. But beneath yep. beneath the moon, Gil met a mysterious prophet. Oh yeah, yeah, the flu. Those ears look weird, almost like a fox, not necessarily a rabbit. It looks kind of like a uh, Finnick on Ruby. Mm -hmm. um, next one, Oscar. And yeah, next one, uh, Treachery. It's a three cost, one blue. And it's a chant. So J slash Resonators you control gain plus two slash zero and precision until end of turn. Prevent all damage that would be dealt to J slash Resonators you control by J slash Resonators your opponent controls until end of turn. So, huh. So they're blocking with a J Resonator, you can prevent the damage. But on what's her name? That would still go through, wouldn't it? Dusk Girl? Damage cannot be prevented. Correct. Yeah. Um, so hers would still go through, but it helps overall. Yeah. Uh, especially for... It could help in an IU deck to try and just pre preemptively protect your IU in case they're able to block and buff or something. I don't know. It doesn't seem like too great of a card because it just buffs them plus yeah. two attack and precision. And the preventing damage is okay. I don't think it's that great of an ability, especially for three cost and no quick cast. I mean, it doesn't make sense though. It's my turn, my J ruler's out. I gain precision and the plus two swing into your recovered, you know, J ruler just to kill it off because the damage wouldn't come back to me. I get that. Yeah, I guess it would work well in um, some stuff like if you have higher attack than your defense. I mm -hmm. guess it's buffing a plus two attack and no defense. So it's, by default, it's doing that situation. So you want and to I kill mean, something without dying. Yeah. But the three cost doesn't seem... It seems kind of high. Yeah. But uh, cool artwork. Very... A lot of his artwork's nice so far. Yeah. Watch this last one be terrible. Yeah, I'm not, I'm yeah. not digging the last artwork. <laughs> I'm not either. I actually <laughs> clicked next thing and we're moving on. And I was like, went back like, it's nice so far. <laughs> <laughs> um, yeah. Last one's Witch's Shadow. Another three cost chant without quick cast weird search your deck for a were rabbit with total cost three or less or a water resonator with total cost two or less and put it into your field then shuffle your deck there we go that now we're making sense why that were rabbit's a three cost in my opinion uh it's to work with this card uh and you can grab 
uh, you can grab either of the cards we saw today. A lot of different cards. I think that's a pretty good chant. Yeah, it's not bad. Uh, I was looking more like beyond this set. Where how many where rabbits have we had? And uh, I mean, there's that treasury one, which is a three cost. Well, for I'm thinking more so of the blue resonators portion. It's a lot like a blue version of uh, the 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 red green card. What's it called? Search your deck for resonator with total cost X plus one. It's like uh, red green, it's green, uh, white, and it's a uh, Kage's Moonbeam Butterfly. Yeah, it's like a blue version of that, uh, except it can only get two costs. But uh, it's kind of like that because you're basically paying one extra to search your deck for any two cost blue resonator or, and put it just into your field. I think that alone is good. And the Were Rabbit thing, if you're running Were Rabbits, it's just like extra niceness. That's just me, though. No, I mean, it's good. I mean, I, I aside from the Were Rabbit part, just getting it at two costs or less uh, water resonator could be good depending on what else we're going to see. Yeah. Well, yeah, I think it's just an overall good chant. Uh, maybe, uh, definitely, I would pro in most water decks, I'd probably run a couple of them. Assuming I'm running two cost resonators, I guess. <laughs> or yeah. Were Rabbits. But yeah, so overall, those spoilers are pretty good, uh, especially the first one. I think the first one is just like having all the thunder. Uh, it has a lot of, <laughs> a lot of questions. I, I, yeah, there, I mean, based on the comments on Facebook, looking at that card the most comments around this IU card and wondering how it's exactly it's wording working and how powerful it could actually be yeah and that, that's true someone's po pointing out you can grab someone's sacred elf their turn one sacred elf yeah over. <laughs> and, that, and it's in the field just that. transferring fields so you can able to tap it down right or is it no it's you're in control of it since beginning of turn but anyways yeah I mean yeah. you're taking it you're taking it either way um. Yeah, no, I think that's pretty good. I'm excited to see like what I want to. I want to see people's ideas of good good J rulers to copy with her. I'm trying to. Th I'm racking my head of what cool stuff there would be copy. But um, yeah, let us know below. Uh, obviously this is probably everyone's favorite card, but maybe you guys don't it's like mine. this card. <laughs> let us know what your thoughts are. Favorite card from these spoilers, these four right here. Um, but uh, yeah, next time we'll hopefully have Joey and he's not being a weirdo somewhere. And yeah, <laughs> we'll see you guys next time. Bye.